Nike Alpha Fly, Brooks Hyperion Elite, Hoka Carbon X, racing shoes are coming out with carbon plates and big stack cushioning. However, the latest research suggests that the carbon plate is just a gimmick. At the end of February 2020, a research paper titled Adding Carbon Fibre to Shoe Soles Does Not Improve Running Economy, a Muscle Level Explanation. The research article shows that the carbon fibre plate isn't aiding running economy and that it's most probably the cushioning system in these high stack shoes that is generating the benefits in running economy, resulting in faster times. The goal of any running shoe manufacturer is to improve running economy. That is, the energetic cost of running at a given speed. If you can reduce that energetic cost, you can speed up slightly, or you can go at the same speed for longer. Traditionally, running shoe manufacturers made shoes as light as possible, hence the term racing flats. The lighter the shoe, the less energy it costs to carry that shoe through your marathon 5k, whatever event you're doing. And, as a result, improved running economy that way. That was the standard until recently. In 2017, Nike released the Vaporfly, which changed the shoe game. It had a carbon fiber plate and stacks of foam, and since then, multiple world records and personal bests have been broken throughout the running community. Yet since the release of that Nike Vaporfly in 2017, only two studies have shown that the carbon fiber plate can improve running economy by 0.8% and the other paper showing 1.1%. Now, with the addition of this study, there are four studies showing that the carbon fiber plate does not aid in running economy whatsoever. The theory for putting carbon fiber plates in shoes is to increase the bending stiffness. This puts the ground contact more to the forefoot and increases the ground reaction forces, helping to propel you forward, so an increase in propulsion. There's a hole in that theory before it's even tested, because each force has an equal and opposite reaction. So the calf muscle actually has to stabilize the ankle and forefoot to make sure it doesn't collapse in on itself, and there's an energetic cost to that. The paper took 15 runners and ran them for 5 minutes over 4 different shoe conditions. They ran at 4.45 minute kilometers or a 7.39 minute mile and they ran in the Adi Zero Adios Boost 2 with just the shoe and then they ran in 3 different levels of carbon fiber plate stiffnesses, so stiffer shoes with carbon fiber. The results were conclusive in that there was no difference. There was no difference between just a normal shoe and any other kind of stiffness of carbon fiber plate inserted in that shoe. Yet despite this finding that the carbon fiber plate isn't aiding in running economy, we know world records are being broken, people are breaking their personal best, and there are multiple videos on YouTube showing you how much faster the new Vaporfly Next Percent is compared to just a standard old school racing flat. So what's happening? So if records are being broken and the shoe's definitely faster, and it's been shown multiple times that it's not the carbon fiber plate, it has to come down to the foam. When comparing the Nike Zoom X midsole foam to the standard Adidas Boost or any other racing flat, it's shown to be softer and more responsive. And a softer, more responsive shoe has scientifically been shown to increase running economy due to the reduced dissipation of energy. And that's the big thing about these shoes, is they're not giving you energy, they're removing the wastage of energy of when your foot hits the ground, and they're giving you a more energy return from that point of contact, that ground reaction force. So it's the foam in these shoes, not the carbon fiber plate. The carbon fiber plate isn't able to act as a spring, as a lot of people think, it's more the cushioning. And you can see that when you have heel strikers, forefoot, midfoot strikers, all gaining a benefit from these shoes. A heel striker goes completely against the physics of a forefoot based carbon fiber spring. So it's important to understand it's in the foam. Alright, until next time people, happy training.